Yeah, of course. So it's my name is Sebastian Bates and I, I live here in Dubai. I run a martial arts organization called the Warrior Academy, uh, which works out of the UK and Dubai, where we essentially work with young people to develop their character. Um, you know, throughout that time, um, you know, 25 years of martial arts, I've always been training in, in weights as well. So I've been lifting weights throughout that time since I was about 14. So over the last year, I kind of made it my mission to just to, for, a, for a new challenge, just to see um, how big and lean I could get. So I was looking for, for a mentor to kind of take me to the next level. You know, and the same with business, right? I, I always find that you always need a mentor in whatever it is you're doing. Um, just to have someone to help you cross that next hurdle, that next line, whatever it is you're doing. Um, and so for me, you know, when, when I when I thought about who I could work with, you know, I'd obviously seen your stuff on YouTube or Facebook through the, the sort of communities we're both in. Um, it, it made complete sense to, to reach out to you um, and just click straight away. You know, we, we got on very well, similar sense of humor. And um, your approach was was very, very different to what I had experienced before. And um, so it was it was refreshing to to work with someone who um, factored all of that in and didn't want your your social life or, you know, the, the, the things you enjoy to suffer, but actually, you know, enhance them by by not having any element of guilt, but still getting the same gains that you want to get. I really enjoyed the, the exercises that you that you kind of listed out the different workouts you had. And what I loved about that the most, I think, was every single workout was different. I, I never go into the gym and, and do the same thing anymore, which is really cool because it makes it exciting. It, it, was, the, it was the mindset shift. Mm. Um, it was the, the totally different way of looking at high volume training and understanding exactly how much volume I actually needed to grow. Mm. I'm talking about it because it was such a big deal, right? And, and the... Like my legs are just like doubled in size because of it. And it's, and it's, um, you know, it's, it's been incredible. I think we went from about 81 to about at, at the, at the, at the peak height of the, the training with you, mm. when I was kind of, well, I would say bulking, but I know we don't use that word, but yeah. at, the, at the kind of peak height of the training with you with the highest amount of calories, I, I went to about 88. Yeah. So we, 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 we just, we were both quite shocked, you know, and I was, I was still staying lean. Because you, you, you were lean already from the back but now you can see there's a lot more dense muscle there and you've obviously grown as well. I mean, tell us how much like carbs and stuff you were eating right at the beginning. Oh, none. So I, I had a high protein, uh, at least what I thought was high protein, high yeah. fat diet. <laughs> We've kind of changed what I think is a high protein diet now. <laughs> um, <but> I, <laughs> I'd, I'd rarely have much carbs, you know, maybe one carb meal a day. So the big change there was eating lots of carbs. You know, I wasn't saying no to having a having a you know a, a few a few pints with a with a family friend or um, you know a bottle of wine and a meal or whatever because you didn't feel guilty about enjoying yourself. Mm. You were progressing at the same rate you would have, and um, you know, but but at a, but actually at, at a better rate because you knew what was going into your body. You know, I think I think halfway through I was just like, this is this doesn't. I don't feel like I'm sacrificing anything. In fact, I feel like I'm like lording it up with all these carbs, just loving it. You know. And I, and I remember halfway through, I was just like, I, I, you've got to speak to my wife because she's like jealous because I'm just <laughs> enjoying the diet plan so much, you know? So, so then she got involved as well. It didn't feel like a sacrifice. It didn't feel like a strain. Um, just, you just, you just felt, you just felt more confident that you could do what you wanted to do anyway mm. and still make the gains that you want to do. Your whole thing is about teaching people the skills they need to go and do it themselves, mm. right? And I was speaking to Jason as well, one of your other clients, about this yesterday. And so many of the things that we've learned from working with you are now just habits, you know. So, so it's it's just not the natural part of understanding what you're putting into your body as part of a, a healthy lifestyle, which is perfect. In the first few weeks, I learned the most about the training side of stuff, mm. but it's all the learning from the diet that you've taught me, and the food, and the nutrition, and um, how things change and how you tweak things because you're logging it. So, I, I think just the whole how easy you've made it to track everything and understand everything is what's made the big difference for me. Lean. So putting on about 13 kilograms in one year, you'd kind of expect, you know, that because your body's bigger, that you wouldn't be as fit. Mm -hmm. But I but I found because of the measuring with my zone and stuff and the, the focus on the heart rate and the way that the workouts are, like all my workouts are supersets right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, tough circuits, it's high volume. I'm in the gym an hour and a half to smash through it. Like I'm fitter than I was before, despite focusing on, you know, on, 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 on growing muscle, which is quite interesting.